Hello, I have developed this speed controller card for single phase AC motor. The unique thing about this card is that we can control speed of AC motor via potentiometer or 0 to 10 volt DC or RS485 Modbus RTU protocol. Let me explain the circuit diagram of speed control card. This are the power terminals for input and output of power supply. Here, 230 volt AC is converted to 5 volt DC. This are the two LEDs, one for power indication, one for mode indication. And this is the zero cross over detection circuit. Single phase power is applied to the primary of bridge rectifier and respectively DC output is connected to primary of 817 optocoupler and the output of optocoupler is connected to interrupt pin of Arduino to detect zero crossover of AC sine wave. This is the triac firing circuit. Output from the microcontroller is applied to the primary of opto isolator. Then opto isolator triggers the triac to manage the speed of AC motor as per the input from microcontroller. This is Modbus protocol circuit. Max 485 IC is used for Modbus communication and resettable fuse, and TVS diode is used for ESD protection. This is analog way to control speed of motor either via potentiometer or 0 to 10 volt DC. This are the mode selection jumpers to select mode to control speed of motor, and this is the Modbus slave ID selection jumpers. At last, this is the brain Atmega 328PIC to controls everything with 16 MHz oscillator and ICSP provision to upload code to the microcontroller. Here is the PCB view of single phase motor speed controller card. This card can control single phase AC motor up to 1 kW rating. This card can be used for multiple applications in the industrial sector. Now it's time to order PCB for this speed control card. I directly order PCB for speed controller card from JLC PCB. I uploaded the Gerber file to the JLC PCB website. It's very easy and pocket friendly to order PCB from JLC PCB. If you want to try JLC PCB for you, PCB need, please check out the link in description box. JLC also offer 3D printing service in very affordable rates. JLC also offer flexible PCB and Roger PCB, so definitely check out JLC PCB for your any prototype needs. My PCB has arrived now and very excited to open that parcel. I received the parcel in less than one week. As you can see, the PCB quality is top notch all silk screen markings are perfect and clearly visible. Now we have PCB in our hand, so without wasting more time, let's start the soldering component on PCB. First of all, I start with SMD components. SMD component soldering is completed and it's look perfect. Now it's time to do through hole component soldering.
All components, power terminals, and control terminals soldering is completed. Now our speed controller card is ready to upload code. This is the code for Atmega 328P. I have used Arduino IDE to write code using Modbus and BarBD Dimmer Library. As we are using ICSP protocol to upload code, so we need binary file for code, so we go with export compiled binary option. So here we have the compiled hex file. This tool is the USB ASP AVR programmer. We are going to upload code to ATmega328P using this tool through ICSP pins. Then, AVR programmer is connected to the laptop and ready to upload code. I have used AVR Dude SS to programmer at Mega328P. First is select the proper microcontroller name and click on Detect to make sure everything is current. Then I browse the previously generated compiled hex file and then start uploading it to the microcontroller. OK, programming is done. Now time to test this speed controller card. So let's do it. So for first test, we will use 10K potentiometer to change speed of single phase AC motor. Here I have done input power wiring output power wiring for the motor. Now first, we have to place jumper to 10K pot mode to control speed using potentiometer. Pot is connected to the terminals and this loop is to enable card. Now power on 230 volt power supply to the card. Now I start rotating knob to change the speed of motor. As you can see clearly, I am able to control speed very accurately. Now we will control speed of motor using 0 to 10 volt DC control supply. Now I have placed jumper at 0 to 10 volt mode and using this 0 to 10 volt DC source to control speed of motor. As changing the control voltage from source, you can see the speed of motor change accordingly. In industrial applications, this 0 to 10 volt source can be replaced with PLCs. In this mode, we use RS-485 Modbus RTU protocol to control speed of motor. Here I am using this type of USB to RS-485 converter to communicate over Modbus, and one end is connect to the card and other to the USB port of laptop. Now, mode jumper is set to the RS-485 mode, and in Modbus protocol, we also need to set the slave ID, so I place the jumper at point C. So in this way, the slave ID became three. I am using ModScan software as Modbus master, defining slave ID three, selecting two, holding register, baud rate to 9600, and establish the Modbus communication. Modbus communication established the first register is to enable and disable the car. The second register is the value of speed in percentage. As I change the value of second register, the speed of motor will change accordingly. As we reach to end of the video, hope you like this multi-way controlled AC single phase motor speed controller. Thanks for watching. See you in next video.